You know, the whole theme of this concert is continuum, yeah, to, to mo, to emo, to ho'omo, all those kinds of words. And um, that is a really good example. Uh, her mother's been dancing with us for over 20 years. And uh, when the, her mom was hapai, she came to hula until the very last day because she had to hanau. And that's how, that's a hula person. You know, it's one day of class unless they absolutely have to. See, but look, look, see, you see what happened? That's how. <laughs> and then on the other end of the spectrum, a couple of years ago, for the first time in our hello, we decided to open up a class geared towards women who were, um, oh, I, I, I better be careful with this one. I don't like it leaking because my mother is in this class. Okay, this is not a kupuna class, but it's not an opio class either. Okay, it's kind of in between, more towards the Arab spectrum. We call this our papalei hinahina, and if you don't know what a hinahina is, it's those, you know that pele hair, it's all gray. The hair up here. Yeah. My 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 my. A song that was written by Nahinu, the King David Kalakawa. A song that expresses love and honor for this particular king of ours.
মাহালো ও মাদার মা 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 ইউ হ্যাভ টু কাম ইন শো ইউর ফেস সে পিপল নো চুক লাইক টুকে জাস্ট ওয়েট ওয়েট টু দ্য অডিয়েন্স না 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 জাস্ট না মাদার I can't believe it was over 20 years ago. Let's see. Yeah. I must have been 21 or 22 years old when I used to work as a tour guide. And my, my, my drive, my daily drive, five or six days a week, was from Lahaina to Hana and back. Yeah. It was really good though because it was those big 15 passenger vans and you know Maui was very different at the time you know today Maui is is quite different from from the 80s and uh, it was a time of growing for me because there were still lots and lots of kupuna out in Hana who would sit on the side of the road and you know weave their lauhala goods and go get coconut and cut them in half and husk them, you know, that kind of things for, for drivers who was going through Hana. And uh, most of them spoke Hawaiian. And so I made it a point to sit down and stop at almost everyone and, you know, just bala out with them. Learned much. It was an invaluable period. And so we honor those elders and those kupuna of that particular time and place with this song that takes us to that side of the island. One of the greatest gifts that you can give 
in our culture is the gift of song. There are plenty of other kind of good gifts too, but song is my kai. And I uh, wrote this song for my mother a few years back. I used to live in Wailuku, right at the foot of what's called Mauna Kahalawai or the West Maui Mountains. And when you're looking up at Iao Valley, there's two mountains that make up both sides of it, and there's Mauna Kane on the right side and Mauna Leo on the left. And this mountain I used to be able to see every single day for 15, 16 years while living in Wailuku. And uh, although I don't live there anymore, as of a few months ago, I miss Wailuku terribly. But it's songs like this and traditional songs that give us images of places that we love and places that perhaps are very different now. These songs, these chants, these dances remind us of those times. They paint a picture for us in our minds to remember forever and always. So with much love to my mother and to my ohana who's out in the audience, this is for you. Come on, 